I do a fairly generous amount throw it on top, this is it right here. Don't pull hairs out, don't do that, you're gonna mess up the look. I like it like this. Welcome back to my channel. Morning time for me over here, so good morning everyone. I am actually about to go into the office just to do like some office work and some drafting. I'm helping my senior associate with prepping for some of her big trials. Feeling a little tired. A little blah, it's midweek. I just need to kind of liven up and I wanted to pop on here. Some of you guys have been asking about a ponytail and how I do them. I have different versions of my ponytails I do, but today I was gonna show you just how I do like a slicked kind of like chic one. And really it's just a disguise for like super dirty hair. And I feel like anyone who rocks that look like understands. I think the key to a slicked back ponytail look is definitely having Having dirty hair my hair is pretty dirty right now like you can kind of see it it's just very dull and like ugh. yeah it's been a few days since I washed it it's just brushed through right now pretty well and you know that can kind of be whatever look you're going for like sometimes I don't brush through all my hair because I want the ponytail kind of like big and messy and kind of like Blake Lively vibes if that makes sense and I think it's kind of like a cool look if you do like super slicked like intentional like in the front and around here and then just have like big messy hair I think is super pretty nonetheless um, brushed my hair out I start with brushing my hair I have extensions, so I use like this dual bristled brush that has just like the shorter, like fuzzier bristles. And then you also have the plastic one. So I go in and I already gave my hair a pretty good brush through, but I brush everything out. I have baby hairs that kind of start right here, but I like to start pulling those and not pulling, but just like kind of shaping them right here. Um, and then I just brush through everything. Now I have weft extensions, so they're like sewn in. You can see like a little bit right here, like little baby horns, cause that's just like sewed in right there. So I can't do a super proper like slicked look, but I can definitely get like that sheet kind of vibe and kind of finesse it a bit, which I've been learning how to do with my wefts. Start with dirty hair, always. It's just gonna stick better. It's gonna maneuver better. If you have super squeaky clean hair, like the product's just not really gonna stick. These little hairs are gonna start kind of falling everywhere. Anyways, I'm using the Day Cactus Fruit 3-in-1 Styling Cream um, right here. I've shared this product before. It's by Amber Filler Ups Hair Care Line, which she's developed shampoo and conditioners. I use her shampoo and conditioner. I've been using it pretty much since it came out and it's very, very good. Also, she has like some hair oils. I know like a, a texturizing spray, deep moisturizing hair mask. I haven't tried all those because I just have products right now that I'm getting through. I go in with this. The three in one is great. Like I said, I think it smells like candy heaven in a bottle. So good. Cruelty free, vegan ingredients, all those good things. Three in one, I know she talks about and she shows different ways you can style it. Like one, what I'm going to do is like applying it straight to like the dry hair to really give it like that tacky gel kind of hold that you want. Also, I use this if I have wet hair before I blow it out. I will do a little bit of this, like concentrated more in the ends and it'll give it that good texture when you wanna go in and curl your hair to help hold it a bit more. So like I said, like the clean hair can be a bit slick and slippery even with um, curls. I'm not sure how else she uses it. I can't remember. It might be like kind of going in to just like taming the hair once it's dry or like giving it that extra product it needs if you're going for like a wavy, like natural kind of look. I do a fairly generous amount. Maybe that's like nickel size kind of. Um, and so I go in just like right here, kind of like warm up the product, loosen it a bit. Don't you like that sound? Then I go in and I like, it seems so like, ah, but throw it on top. Like what's in the fingers. You do that same motion and just like get those good hairs right here. It's gonna give it that tackiness that you want. That's a good start. And then I'm gonna go back in with my same crusty brush that I have. This is also by day. 
I'm gonna go in, give it like another brush. Now just like grab it, starting here. Um, and you'll kind of learn like what feels comfortable for you. I like mine to sit pretty low. Sometimes I'll like finesse it and do like a mid pony. It all just depends. But today I'm just gonna go low. I can see my horns starting to show through. Um, which is fine. Now that I have like a rough shape of what I want, this is where kind of like the magic happens. Get one of these brushes, same kind of bristle. This side is good too, to kind of get that part if you want that like super sharp part. Get you a brush like this that has these bristles cause that's gonna help guide the hair and like kind of pull it all together. I go in with the big and sexy, spray and play harder guys. Spray and play harder, big and sexy, go in. Give it a good, just trust, trust, a good spray. And then immediately grab this. And I'm not like, I'm kind of just like letting it grab those like top layers and just kind of like guiding them like right here where I want them. If it's dirty, this is where like when it's dirty, it's good because your hair will start going where you want it to go and I just like lightly start really snatching it all. Um, again, baby horns are coming out, but like that's fine. Getting the back how I like it. My part could be a little prettier, but it doesn't matter. Go underneath too and just kind of give it a good pull. So now I've started to like really lock in. You're not done yet. You can always go in and fix. Another trick is to keep this super slicked look no matter what kind of like the back starts doing or the ponytail starts doing. I think what really keeps the look locked in is when you really intentionally get the hairline and then what's wrapped behind the ears. Don't pull hairs out, don't do that, you're gonna mess up the look. I go in, do an extra spritz around the ears and snatch those puppies down and around the ear right here. And it's just gonna like keep that look super tight. So this is it getting there so far. I'm cool with this. It's not like the most perfect because I actually think I'm gonna try to wear it, push it a little higher. I use these, they're just from like the drugstore. They're like super thick um, because it's just a lot of hair. So this is good with holding it. I also have like these. One of my um, hair stylists put me on these because they're just overall better for your hair and like breakage, especially if you're a consistent ponytail wearer like I am. Anyways, so. I go in, keep the hair pulled and start that thick ponytail as close as you can to like the base of your head. You don't wanna like start it like an inch or so out on the ponytail and then pull it tight. It's gonna mess up the look. I'm pulling this so tight, finessing the ponytail through to keep it as slick as I can. I like my ponytails tight so that my hair feels secured. What I just did is I took it from right here and I just like pushed it up. I tightened it this way and then you wanna tighten it long ways. Like grab a piece at the top and the bottom and pull. That actually is where I want it. It's kind of right here. It's not like straight down here where it looks like I'm like going in a sixth grade PE, you know? It's like up more so it's gonna just give it more of that intentional look. And then like I keep pulling this way because what I like to do is give body on the top part of my ponytail. And I also have extensions. So you're gonna start seeing like my natural hair, just kind of the way that extensions are. But if you give it like a good pull and start pulling up and like shaking it, you're gonna start sifting like that texture and that body through. Yeah, I like this. And so you're giving it a little bit more body. And then like right now I'm looking straight and it looks a little bit sixth grade PE. It's all kind of preference. I just want a little bit more life back here. And like, you're probably not even gonna tell a difference on video, but it does for me. And it's just kind of getting it where you want it. I like it like this. So I'm gonna give it another good pull. Sometimes I'll hold the hair and lightly brush through it like this with my fingers, bring it all back together. 
I like it to be messy and like pulled up. Now that I have it where I want it, I'm gonna go in again. Here's spray. Lock it in. Give these a little bit more love up here. Back behind the ear. Okay, now ponytail. Again, that same like lip, like pulling up and just kind of adding some hairspray in it. My hair is already pretty dirty, so it's gonna have like that tackiness naturally anyways. I'm telling y'all a little trick on the ponytail to give it like that extra va va voom, no matter if it's high, low, whatever, like you can already see it kind of happening. So lightly, just take that very like top layer of your hair, grab it and like pull it a little bit just to give it that just touch of body right up here towards the crown and shake it and it's like automatically gives it a lift and then i take some mist spray that and we're gonna go and that's how i do it here's what it looks like it looks a little i know i'm taking the time to be like extra nitpicky and try to like step by step it with y'all this could literally take me like 60 seconds in the morning i just wanted to pop on and show that to you guys i think the keys to a slicked pony look is this type of brush with these bristles could literally get anywhere to really get the hairs where you want because if you go in with just like a plastic bristle brush you're not going to get the same control get you a good like tacky pomade type product um, I like this one because it's not gel it's not gonna dry crispy that's what I love 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 about this you get that tackiness but it dries down so you're not getting like crispy kind of look it still has really pretty shine to my hair so it doesn't look dull or like lackluster so I think these two products are key and then if you want like that real intense hold to really just lock it in, like if you're outdoors or in the wind or like all day, give it a good spray with a super hold hairspray. And then like I said, you could like super slick straighten your ponytail and it would be long and like gorgeous. If you have messy curls, it could be big and curled. Right now it just kind of looks like a bale of hay and like that's fine. Um, you can have that kind of look. Some days when I'm like, I can't even with the ponytail, like it's bad i'll take it and like twist it all and then wrap it around and literally just throw one pop one of these on top and you got a low slick bun throw on some like cute gold hoops everyone thinks we have our life together and that's really all that matters that's it thanks for joining me you guys at some point i'll pop on and kind of show you like a pretty like big curled high ponytail that i love to do just keep tuning in and i'll create that content for you guys and share with you if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up if you are enjoying my content and want to see more of me then hit that subscribe button and that's about it and i will catch you guys on the flip side bye